Hi everyone, and welcome back to my Cursed Witch Legacy Challenge, where we are reminded that even though we may have had some luck with finding an expensive wine bottle, and we may have had some luck with getting money handouts from distant relatives, we are still very unlucky because we are cursed, as the game sends Vlad our way, and oh, well... I guess even Vlad is immune to the power of the haunted house, and he is getting scared away? Huh. Weird days. Okay. okay, how weird. But maybe our girl has some dormant witch powers protecting her? Like, what are the chances? But okay, I'll take any handout I get. I mean, I'd rather be dazed than drained. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. I mean, that was kind of cool, I guess. I like how it says she can't move as she literally walks around. Does that just mean I can't tell her to go? No, I can still tell her to go places. How strange. Okay, well, I am going to tell Vlad to just go away, maybe? Or should I... You know, we do kind of need social. Hmm. Why is there trash on our patio? Okay. Let me drag these. I, I'm too lazy to have her rummage. Don't mind me. Um, okay, so she needs to get her hygiene up. And I would like to see if we would be able to order groceries if we go off the lot. So we're going to really quickly pop on over to this public restroom. And I'm going to have her spam use it so that she can get her hygiene up. Okay, so her hygiene is finally full, and so one of our lot traits is off the grid, so we can't use our phone on our home lot, but now that she has walked off the lot enough, she can use her phone, so I'm wondering if we are able to order groceries. I'm going to really quickly put her in her new outfit we gave her. And you can go head back home. Wait, did it not let us order groceries because we're off the lot? I think that's what happened, which sucks because I thought I had found a workaround. All right, might as well head back home. Unfortunately, I don't think we can order groceries. I thought I was being clever, but at least her hygiene's up. Okay, let's check on our chickens. We'll come collect the eggs, do our usual chores for the day. I like how feathers always spawn in the same spot. Oh, okay, it says just a normal quality egg and it's not hatchable. This is good. Um, we should, I would say we should put this in the fridge, but I feel like it's going to go bad. Okay, so we can put this in the fridge, but I have to have her come add ice. And I'm going to have to remember to stay on top of the ice, I guess. I hear crying, but I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, it's um our Aunt Kimmy. Okay. All right, so we put the egg in here. We put ice. Um, if I hover over the fridge, does it say? It says ice is at 99%. Do we just keep adding it? 99.77%. Okay, well, that should keep our egg good. And can we cook anything with our egg? Probably not, because we don't have a stove, right? Okay, if we did have a stove, I think we might be able to do it, because this is off-the-grid stove. Okay, so maybe the plan is back to <laughs> replacing the stove. So we need to get about 400, no, 400 plus 800 more dollars. Oh, goodness. Um. All right, you guys, let me have her, at the very least get some more sleep again since Vlad kind of interrupted her sleep and I will pick up when she wakes up and you know what while we're still here um 
Nikki is no longer a stayover guest, so we can actually sell her bed um, and get some of our money back. So this might be a bad idea if we have another stayover guest, but that could be a problem for future us. So the bed is $240, and is her suitcase expensive? No, her suitcase is free. All right, so if we get another stayover guest, we can always buy that back. All right, I will be back when she is done sleeping, you guys. Okay, you guys, so Ophelia just woke up, and I'm so sorry. I just realized I didn't have my audio settings correct for the beginning of this video and the last video, but now it should be fixed so that you can actually hear the game noises and stuff. So yay. <laughs> um, but at the end of the last episode, you may have noticed that somebody called us and invited us out. I don't remember his name, but it was Faiz. I don't think, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> um, but he also invited us out again while she was sleeping, like to go to like one of the off lot prompts, like to go see a concert or something. Um, so he's been really trying to ask us out on dates and we are currently starving. And when we eat on the lot, it makes us sick. And um, honestly, we really don't have food at the moment. Our fruits are still growing and we have one egg in the fridge. So I thought since he already asked us out twice and we had to turn him down both times, why don't we ask him out now? I don't know if I want to go on an actual date. I don't know. See, the thing is, I would like us to get another sim moved into this house because I feel like it would be easier to renovate it faster and earn money faster with a second sim. We also need to eventually give birth to the next generation. Um, I just don't know if I want it to be him or not. So I'm not going to write off the bad ask him on a date, but I am going to ask him. Hmm. Let's see if we can travel and invite him and we'll just go from there. If they, if we decide to flirt when we're there, then so be it. But for now, I'm thinking we should go get food together and well, go get food and invite him with us. Okay. And because like Ophelia doesn't have a car or anything, I think it's feasible that she would just like walk up the block to the local to the local thrift tea store. So I think we're gonna go there and it should give us the prompt to invite him. Yes, it does. So let's invite him. Okay, we are in survival mode right now. We are starving. Um, I feel like she would like almost surpass pleasantries and maybe not even say hi and just like run in and order food because she's so hungry. Please tell me there's somebody here we can order food from. No. Oh my goodness. But still, I'm going to go with the storyline that she would like run inside because she's starving right now. So it's kind of embarrassing that she has no nice clothes. Like this is a thrift store. So maybe we should buy her some nice shoes and shorts and shirt. She kind of has money technically. She dislikes us pop music. No. I I guess. Where when does this open? I wish you could hover over it and it could show what time it opens. It's it is possible I have a mod in my game that makes the thing not work, so we'll have to see. Okay, it looks like somebody's coming. And he said hi to us since we were too rude to say hi to him. Okay, order food, girl. I know you're hungry. Um, let's just get a corn dog because it's the cheapest thing on the menu. And we'll get a drink as well. Um, I think I'm going to go with a lychee milk bubble tea because it's the cheapest thing on the menu again. And... Lychee milk bubble tea actually sounds really good. This girl's kind of cute. Let's say hi to her. Maybe you can make a new friend. Um, friendly. Do we already know you? Where's the option to introduce herself? 
Who is this? Mio? Do we already know Mio? We do already know her. Okay. She. I would imagine she's a little embarrassed um, to be looking the way she currently looks. A little rough. Can you please eat your corn dog before another sim takes it? You paid eight dollars for that. Thank you. Go get. Um, excuse me. We should we should have just stole food from other people, but we're not hurting that much for money. As she turns into an infant in front of everybody. Gotta love it. Are you getting sick? Okay. What did you do with your bubble tea, though? Do you not? Are you not e able to have both? All right, well, she's hungry, so when she's done eating that, nope. Mortimer took it. Okay, just focus on eating this. I feel so bad for her. She keeps turning into an infant, and her clothes are all dirty and ripped, and she's got holes in her shoe, and her kind of date looks like he's talking to a different girl. And we're just gonna sit at the same table as them, like, uh... Um, hi! And she's hating the music that's playing. You know what? Why don't we pick out a new outfit? Might as well. It's it's thrifted clothes. It makes sense. She has some money in her pocket. Maybe she d maybe we get her like one nice outfit. So like if she goes out on dates and stuff, she doesn't have to wear this. Okay, so this is the outfit I ended up creating. I feel like. It's cute. I like the green vibes and everything. And it's only 105 simoleons. So, um, we have to name it. I'm not sure what we would name it. So, let's just do custom. This is going to be save the trees, I guess. Because it's green and I think this is like an Earth Day shirt. But... Who knows? I really like the idea of like her only having the clothes on her back and like only adding outfits that like we so far she, we added the outfit she found on the clothesline and now she only added this outfit because she actually purchased it. I think that's a really fun way to play. Okay, can you put on your new outfit? Wear outfits. This way you don't look all rough. There we go, you guys. Look, she's actually in cute clothes that aren't all torn and everything. I love it. Oh, look. And he's like, girl, you look so good. And we're like, thanks. Maybe he was the one who told us about like the, the thrift store here that has the cheap clothes. I don't know. But you know what? I will let you guys decide if he is actually going to be the father of our future child. But I do think we are going. And like we're feeling cute now. We're out of our dirty clothes. Um, maybe we could like pose for him. Oh, she didn't, he didn't want our number. Okay, you, well, you know what? Um, our girl got new clothes and our girl is fed. So if you're going to act that way, we're just going to go home. Bye. I do actually have plans and it would be nice to get some work done on the house before it gets too dark out. We do already have a little bit of a romantic bar with him and... Like I said, he asked us out on two dates, so I don't know why he would act that way. But it's fine, I guess. Also, I'm wondering if there's a way to actually add this to our wardrobe, or do I just have to always click on it and say, wear it? Let me know if you guys know. Whew. Okay, you guys. So, what is this? Having a bad time? Sims who are exposed to things they dislike, it for extended periods of time will slowly be driven mad. Try surrounding them with things they like. Okay, because she didn't like the music that was playing there. That's fine, I guess. Um, 
I was so tempted to tell her no that like she had to like it, but it's kind of cool when your Sims develop like their own little personalities. But here are our current objectives. So I would like to give myself the restriction of doing one room at a time. So our current room is the kitchen, which is probably going to take a minute because a lot of the stuff in here is expensive. We already restored the fridge, which let's just check on our ice situation because I've never played with a off-the-grid fridge before. We should probably come in here and add ice because it is at 75% and I would imagine we want to keep it kind of up there. I would like to unlock this stove, um, which is an off-the-grid stove, so she will be able to use it, but that's another thousands, millions away or so. So I want to give us another source of food other than the grapes we currently have over here and the two trees we have growing, which one tree is actually out of season. So I think what I want to do is start putting some cottage living plots out. Nikki adopted a child. Would we like to come say hi? <laughs> um... Okay. <laughs> All right. That 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 was unexpected, but um we will we will get back to what I was saying. Let's go meet Nikki's kid. Hi Nikki. Where is your little one? Okay. What is your name? Your name is Kayla Sinister. Okay, let's come to a quick respectful introduction. Maybe we could steal food from Nikki while she's here since we are already hungry again. It's because you didn't drink your boba. You only ate that tiny corn dog. Hi, we're your mom's friend. Nice to meet you. Why did her confidence go down? Nikki, can we have some yogurt too, please? Are you going to get mad at me if I get a quick meal? Um, have a quick meal of... We'll have the same thing she's having. We'll have some yogurt. Lactose-free yogurt? Sure. We're all tense because one of the animals smells like a skunk and we saw a rat and she needs to have fun. So maybe we will actually chill and watch a movie with them um, so she can actually have some fun since she really can't have fun at her house. Oh, wait, maybe. Okay, lost. I was I think I accidentally hit Moonlight Massacre and then I was like, maybe that's not a good idea for a kid, but. A Dog's Lost Journey Home seems like a good movie for a kid. What does this say? Child adoption from a neighbor adopting a child. Ophelia is thrilled her friend recently decided to add a child to the family. This is really cute. Every time, um, I have never had one of my sim friends adopt a child. I've only ever had them like adopt a dog or something. And when they invite me over to meet it, I never go. <laughs> so this is a first for me. At least Ophelia is getting her social and her fun up. Oh, we should gossip and like spill the tea about how this guy asked us on a date twice and we went with him. And, well, he asked us on a date twice, and then we invited him out, and we asked him for his number, and he rejected us. But I guess we would have already had his number if we invited him out, so <laughs> I don't know. But regardless, we're going to gossip with her. Get that social up and that fun up. Not us talking during the movie and then shushing them for talking. How old are we until we age up, by the way? Nine days. Okay. Okay, I guess they couldn't gossip while they were watching the movie, so they're going to gossip now. 
That barely got our fun up. Wondering if I want to go over his house and hang out. This guy is playing so hot and cold right now. And listen, you were a jerk to us and we're at Nikki's house. So, mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's use her functioning toilet so that we don't have to use the public restroom. I love how Nikki is being such a constant um, person in this series. Like, I put her in the game because I thought it would be cool to call her, like, when we needed help with repairs, since she made the repair sheet, but I wasn't expecting her to be such a constant um, feature in the series, but it's fun. I love that Ophelia has, like, a best friend. I, we're probably going to get in trouble for showering, but I'm going to try it anyway. In fact... Can we afford the always welcome thing? Because maybe I should get that. Oh, wait. Is she going to yell at us? I guess maybe because we're such close friends, she doesn't care. And she did invite us over. Maybe we can get away with sleeping, too. I know I'm, like, pushing it here, but... Hey. If you... Like, technically, she just stayed over our house, so why would she care if we stayed over her house? For one, is she going to come yell at us? No, she doesn't care! Oh, no, no, she does care. Oops. <laughs> what did that say? Urban squatter from sleeping outside of household lot. Freaking Sims aren't fussy about where they sleep as long as they aren't paying the rent. The location is just fine. Landlords and security think that squatting on someone else's property is wrong, but that's just like their opinion. <laughs> I love that. Okay, that's kind of funny. Um. Okay. I feel like we pushed the limit. I'm sorry, Nikki. I just... I had to, like, I'm living in a dump. I had to at least try. But let's go back home. And like I was saying before Nikki invited us over to see her adopted child, I would like to put a different source of food in our house. Um, and that source of food is going to be like the cottage living plots where we can grow things. And I think one of the things I want to grow is lettuce so that even if we can't afford to repair the stove, we can still make salads because we have to have the ingredients with the lot trait we currently have. Um, we can't just make food unless we have the ingredients for it. So I want to clean up this area. So we have money to do it. So let's pull up the price sheet and get cleaning this area up a little bit. Okay, so again, just like we did before, I'm going to count this as a medium project just because the bush is kind of big. So that's going to cost us 16, sorry, <laughs> it's going to give us 16 million. So I'm writing that down so I don't forget. But because I'm charging us a medium project, that's going to be 50 simoleons. So I have to remove 50. And I have to remove the 16 that it gave us. Let's go ahead and turn the lights on in here. That hardly did anything, I feel like, but okay. Um, okay, and then is this... I feel like this one isn't as big, so I'm going to charge myself... 30 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 <laughs> um, and then are these 16 as well? Yeah, so that's 5 6 7 move this out here with our other little cleaning utensil over there. Okay, so 16 times 7 is going to be 112, so we're going to minus that. And I can't remember if I subtracted a fee for removing the bushes. I'm going to charge myself a small fee, 
And if I already charged myself a small fee, then I'm going to do another one. I don't care. <laughs> so there we go. Um, she paid for the weed whacker, the gloves, the hedge trimmers, whatever you want. I, it would, I either charge myself 80 or 110. I'm not sure. And I don't really care. At least I charge myself something. Um, now I want to put some of the gardening patches. So like I said, we can start growing lettuce. I also like that it's in the encompass of our chickens because our chickens, I believe, can help with weeding and stuff. So this is a good thing. I'm going to put move objects on. Okay. And... We could get at least six plots in right there. And then just because I feel like it's going to bother me, I'm going to get rid of this. And I feel like you can get, you could get rid of this with a, I don't, I don't know. Cause like it, a mattress would be semi heavy, but I feel like you could carry that to the curb with your hands and drag it. I don't necessarily think you would need a tow truck, like a tow truck trailer or anything. Maybe you would need the tow truck trailer to to tow it away because you can't necessarily fit the mattress in your car. You would have to strap it to your roof. I'm probably overthinking this, but I will charge myself a large project for that, which is 250 simoleons. Um, and we're going to get rid of that. And then we're going to get rid of the 24. Okay, now this is looking semi-nice. I think I'm going to move this off the path a little bit more. I don't think I want to get rid of these. You know what? Instead, what if we just put them all in like a row out here? I know it's kind of unrealistic that you would be able to move grass, but I feel like it makes sense that maybe the grass would be like overgrown outside the fence and I don't really like that it's like um, covering the path so I'm gonna do that plus it will be easier for us to collect it so yeah I'm taking some liberties when I wh where I can okay and maybe we can say Ophelia dragged the tire over here it looks like our jack-o'-lantern turned into a pile of trash, which I didn't even know could happen. Um, that or a pile of trash just spawned there, and it's a coincidence that the thing is gone, but I don't know. All right, well, we'll say she dr drug the tire over to be with these tires. Um, and that's starting to look a little bit nicer, I do believe. I even like these little flowers. I think that's so pretty. Okay, getting distracted. Um, but I'm quite happy with the improvements we made out here. And now we can start putting some food sources in the ground, at least, I hope. So let's purchase, um, some oversized crop seeds. And I would like lettuce. I wouldn't mind having eggplants or mushroom or pumpkin or watermelon because this is, again, this is all stuff we can eat. So I'll get one of each and then we're going to come plant it. Plant oversized crop aubergine. Plant oversized crop watermelon. Plant oversized crop lettuce. Plant oversized crop pumpkin. Plants, oversized crop, mushroom, and then, you know what, let's get another lettuce because we might be making salads for a while until we can afford our stove. It would help if I unpause the game. Also, when she was sleeping, we got the notification to go into work, and I did tell her to just work from home, and our current task is to once again read a gardening book, so... Unfortunately, we're not going to do good in that department, but at least we can get our promotion task up and then she should be promoted. I might need to make her go into work um, next time because if we continue to go days where we don't complete the work assignment, her 
um, performance is just going to keep going down and then we'll never get promoted. All right, and then plant the extra lettuce you bought and let's go ahead and water everything. I know this is morbid, but I wonder if the soil here would be extra rich because of the planted bodies. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, and while we're out here, let's go ahead and check on our chickens. Um, so, we still only have one chick, and I did get a bunch of name suggestions in the last video. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly add them to a wheel, and every time we get a new chick to name, we will draw from the wheel. So, let's go ahead and go over to our wheel. Hello guys and welcome to Name That Chicken, a new spin the wheel that I created with the help of you guys' submissions. So it's only been one day since I posted the last video, but I really wanted to film the next one. Um, and I was very pleasantly surprised to see that I already got four name suggestions. Um, so rather than just pick one, I thought we would spin for one every time we get a new baby chick. Um, and every time you guys give me a name, I will just add it to the wheel. And every time we land on a name, I will remove it from the wheel. This way, everybody has a fair chance of getting their name picked. And I like the randomness. Um, if you are wondering why Wednesday is on the wheel twice, it is because two separate commenters suggested that name. So it has a higher likelihood of getting picked. We also have Chicoletta and Morticia. So let's go ahead and spin. Okay, um, well, it did have a 50 chance percentage of winning, so I guess Wednesday one. So we're going to go ahead and remove Wednesday from the wheel. Um, and then next time we win, next time we spin, we will um, spin for either Chicoletta, Morticia, and what other name suggestions might be added in the comments. Um, but let's go name our baby chick. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and name our baby chick Wednesday, which is so fitting because she is a little baby chick of the night. And I wonder if she will grow up to be a um, evil chicken or not. That is going to be interesting because I've never played with evil chickens before. But we now have our family Elvis, Elvira, and little baby Wednesday. Why did I say it like that? Wednesday. Um, and... Um, Thank you so much to everybody who commented a name. I also want to say thank you so much for like being receptive to my questions because I did ask if you guys thought we should eat them or not. And somebody said fish, fish are friends, not food. Just kidding. They didn't say fish. That's Finding Nemo. They said chickens are friends, not food. So not to eat them. And another person said not to trade the chickens until they're elders. So I like both of those ideas because I think I would get really sad if we ate them because they're, they're our pets. But this video has already gotten a little long, so I'm going to leave you <laughs> with our cursed little being being a cursed little being and end the video here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm sorry if it's getting a little repetitive. I feel like we're only ever able... She's drooling! Ew!
<laughs> I feel like we're only ever able to tackle like a really small section of the lot each episode, so I'm sure it is getting a little repetitive. Let me know what you think we should do in the next episode. Let me know if you think we should give um, our guy another chance, even though he's being kind of hot and cold with us, or if we should possibly go after somebody else. Love to hear from you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you in the next part. Bye everyone.